For the last couple months, I've been working on a full Ionic 4 Firebase course where we build a fully cross-platform mobile app, and I'm happy to announce today that it is finally available for enrollment. The best way to access it is for free by being a pro member, but if you just want this one course, I'll also leave a discount code here on YouTube. The focus of this initial version of the course is to really focus on the fundamentals. It covers important topics that often get overlooked, like project structure and developer happiness, and it goes into detail about how components and services interact with each other to build out actual features. All features are designed to work on the web, iOS, and Android, including user authentication and push notifications. Then you'll learn pretty much everything you need to know about routing and cross-component communication by building a real-time to-do list with Firestore. Then we'll wrap up the course with deployment to the web, iOS, and Android. Now, if you're thinking a to-do list is a pretty boring demo, I agree with you 100%. It's just really good at showcasing the fundamentals of Ionic. But that's why I want to put an extension to this course up to a vote. A lot of different requests for features in this course have been made, but I want you to tell me what I should prioritize. And whatever gets the most votes will be the first extended feature for this course. The poll will be held on our Slack channel, and I'll give away a free one-of-a-kind t-shirt to one lucky voter. So now that we have a good foundation for this course, it opens up the door for extended features like Firebase Analytics and Predictions. We could build a geolocation feature using Mapbox or Google Maps. We could do a more complex Firestore exercise like building a WhatsApp clone. Or we might build out an image-based feature that uses Firebase storage and some of Google's machine learning libraries. I'll just let you decide by voting. Aside from that, I just want to let you know that the course is intermediate level, so you'll definitely want to have some experience with JavaScript. And it will also help if you're familiar with TypeScript and Angular. I think that's all the information I have for now. I look forward to chatting with you about the course, and I'll talk to you soon.